Hi, I'm Allie. Join me as I create this iris floral square bracelet. Great for a necklace or even a pair of earrings, or you can use the components to create a bracelet. If you need any supplies, go ahead and check out below the video in the description. We'll put links there back to our website. So our project is going to begin as components. We're gonna be making this floral iris duo component, and then I'm gonna show you how we are going to sew them together to make them into a bracelet. You can also do them as earrings, you can do them as a pendant. We're using four simple materials to create them. Four millimeter bicones, eight OC beads, some super duos, and some iris duos. To begin, I want you to get dragon thread size eight and a size 10 needle. And you are going to put onto your thread and needle four iris duos through the bottom hole, puff side is up, flat side is down, bottom hole, separated out by four of your super duos. So iris duo, super duo, so on four times. Let that go to the bottom of your thread here and we're just gonna simply tie this into a knot. When I tie this into a knot, that is the first step to that interior hole of our flower. After you're done, take your needle and thread through the next three beads coming out through one of your iris duo beads. We're gonna reverse the thread coming out through the top of the iris duo. It's gonna put a little bit of thread on the exterior of the iris duo. You will not see it. From here, we're gonna go around and connect the second hole of the iris duo and the super duo. When you're coming out of the iris duo, add a new super duo and an 80 seed bead and sew through the super duo that's already there. Coming out of the super duo, reverse it. 80, new super duo through the iris duo. Because we're creating this square, you're going to do this at every side of the angle. So you're just doing this quick seed bead, super duo as you rotate around between each. Once you're finished that, we're gonna go around this, these beads that we just included one more time. We're gonna go back through the super duo, back through the 80, and as you're exiting through the 80, I want you to pick up one of your uh, 80 C beads, followed by one, two, and three more 80 C beads. Go back through C bead number one, in a circle, and then through the next 80 super duo and onto the next space. What this is gonna do is create that little uh, tri or that little square on top of the 80 sitting over the super duo. Once again, sew through the second hole of the iris duo and these super duos that we just added on, coming out through the first 80 seed bead you're gonna add four more eightos. After doing so, so back through that first of the eightos in the circular form. Push that all down right on top of that super duo. So through the next eight and the next super duo in line as we come across. Nice and simple design adding in that almost uh, patchwork or quilt-like section as we add in those corners. After going through and creating your last little trim there, I want you to go through your last 80 and your super duo, and then just like we reversed the thread on the iris duo, we're also reversing the thread on the super duo, coming out of that first hole of the super duo and reversing the thread coming out through that second hole. Our thread and needle now is coming out the super duo toward our corner piece. And here's where we're gonna incorporate our crystals. Pick up one of your four millimeter crystals and sew through the top three beads. Bead number one, bead number two, bead number three of the eight O's. When you're out there, grab another four millimeter bead and sew through the top hole of the next super duo. When your super duos are next to one another, you wanna add one 80 and sew through to the next super duo. This is going to pull those super duos almost in a tiny little bit and make space for your exterior. Put in the four, go through those top three beads, one, two, and three. Those will bring that toward the top a little bit more. Add in your four millimeter 
sew through the next super duo and go through adding an eight through the next super duo. As you're doing this throughout the process, anything that gets a little bit big, I like to sit it down and just kind of relax the thread a little bit. So that way I'm not pulling too tight because that's always my tendency for the design. So it doesn't go in and kind of have a curvature towards it. I'm gonna go in and add my last couple crystals and my last 80 C beads to sit right above my flower. So once you're done, you're coming out the corner or the top of the little square here. Now, if you want to, you can attach a wire guard here and it's a pretty little earring. As you continue to make more, you'll get ready where you're at a point to add them all together. So how do I add one to the other? You can add them with a little bit of right angle weave. Coming out the project, and if I wasn't going to add it, I would just work my thread back through, tie off my thread ends, but instead I'm gonna grab two of my 80 C beads, go in and grab one on, go through the top of one of the other ones that I finished, another 80 on, and go through the top you're just coming out of. That rounds it out and just does that nice right angle weave connection point. We're gonna reinforce that going back through the eight at the top, eight on the sides, and down again. Now I'm gonna go in back into my project and get rid of this base thread. If you've already gotten rid of the thread of some of the other projects or the other um, components, you can sew along the outer edge right to the next corner tie them off and continue on going. I already have three that I've attached together and then I have these other two that I'm gonna attach for my final bracelet of four before I add, or five rather, before I add my clasp. When you get to the end and all of your components are together, you're going to add an additional thread. So I've started the thread back here a couple beads back, sewed through the point there, added one eight, added my Potomac's Infinite Clasp here, I already did it on the other side as well. Added another eight to complete that right angle weave look of the connection point. And then I'm gonna sew back through that same exterior bead. Once I do so, I'm pulling in tight. I'm gonna reinforce that a total of three times. Going through the beads, going through the clasp, making sure I'm not connected here to my starter thread and just reinforcing that connection. Once I go through it three times, then I'll bring this thread and needle back into the design. Coming down into the project. And then tying the thread ends together. Once I tie the thread ends together, I can use a thread burner and just burn down the edges and my Iris Duo diamond bracelet is complete. I'd love to see these in different colors, as earrings, as a necklace even. You can even do more of the right angle weave in the middle to connect and just then with this nice Potomac's clasp, you have that color match from the Iris Duos to the cab and your bracelet is ready to be worn. Thanks so much for joining me in the creation of this Iris Duo Floral Diamond Square Bracelet. It's been a lot of fun and I can't wait to see all the different color varieties. Remember, if you haven't yet, subscribe so you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beads. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for the next inspirational design.